We are on the beautiful Portuguese island of Madeira. We're in Funchal, the capital. We're going to be exploring some of the best places to drink. There are some really, really interesting, uh, unique local drinks to Madeira, like poncha, which is a rum punch. They've got Madeira and wine. So there's loads of interesting stuff to drink here that you just won't find anywhere else. Tangerine, strawberry, passion fruit, original. Nice one, thanks, man. Thank you. We're at a bar to try the local poncha, which is uh, a really, really interesting drink, which I've never seen anywhere before. It's, uh, it's locally made rum with sort of a variety of fruit juices, uh, sugar, lime juice, all that sort of thing. So it kind of reminds me of uh, like Caribbean rum punch, but like a Portuguese twist. So this first bar we've come to, uh, it's called Venda Velha, and it was recommended to us by uh, Ida's brother and his girlfriend, who have been working here for the last few months as tour guides. So they should know what they're talking about, I hope, and it seems like a great bar. It's a proper, like, in and out, really quick bar. Loads of locals in there, which is a good sign. <laughs> Some pigeons knocking over some glasses. <laughs> right, we've gone for four different flavors. We thought we'd go, go big for the first one for our first ever try of poncha. We have got uh, the original one here, which I believe is with orange juice. Then we've got a passion fruit one. We've got a strawberry one and we've got a tangerine. So, uh, original first, why not? Come in little glasses. I think you're supposed to sort of grab one and drink one quick whilst you're walking around the town. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from these ponchas. Whoa! Oh my god, that's quite strong. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. It's so cold and refreshing. It's full of ice. Real zing. A lot of rum as well. <laughs> yeah, these four are gonna go down nicely. Passion fruit. Okay. Looks the same. Oh, it tastes different. Yeah, not quite as sharp. A little bit sweeter, a little bit richer, and obviously it tastes like super fresh passion fruit. The fruit on this island is amazing. It's really, really luscious, and yeah, you can taste it in these. That's great. Number three, strawberry. Let's give it a go. Much richer, redder color. You know what, it actually looks like it's got blended fruit in it. They've got uh, like the little tiny pieces of fruit. It looks like it's actually properly fresh strawberries that have been blended. Oh, oh my God, that's nice. That might be my favorite one. It's a lot softer. Not quite as sharp or tart and a little bit sweeter. Yeah, real, real strawberry flavor there. Last one, tangerine. I guess it's gonna be similar to the original one, let's see. It's really sweet, actually. That's the sweetest one of the four. Different to the orange one. Yeah, orange is a little bit sharper, whereas that's, that's definitely the sweetest one. Cheers. That's very strong. <laughs> <laughs> that's so strong. It's super nice, but it reminds me of like vodka with orange. <laughs> it's, it's nice, vodka but... and orange? <laughs> Seriously, it does remind me of that. First ever experience of puncha. I know, exciting. <laughs> Pretty damn delicious, if you ask me. Next stop is, surprisingly, the Ritz. Now you would think, oh, Ponzi Hotel, posh, five star, you know, load of rich people. Absolutely not in Madeira. This is a proper classic place. They've got wonderful drinks, really good service, and the prices are not what you'd expect. So I'm drinking nice big glasses of the local Madeira wine, which is absolutely delicious. A little bit unusual, maybe not to everyone's taste, but I love it. I'm having a couple of different ones. I'm trying the dry ones, the sweet ones. I just got a passion fruit mojito and what was that, five euros, 90 Ida? Fantastic yeah. price. We've gone for a really, really good Sunday. Oh, another wine, thank you very much. Cheers. I've gone for a sweet one this time as well. I tried, a, I tried a medium dry, now I'm going for a really, really sweet one. I'm trying to find one that Ida likes. It is an unusual flavor, these Madeira wines. Um, I have to be honest. We're gonna do a tour of the uh, local Landy's uh, wine makers place. Um, so yeah, watch out for that. We're gonna do a separate video on that. It's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna show you how it's made and we're gonna taste a few. That's gonna be cool. Um, but the Ritz, really, come and check it out. The people are really friendly, the prices are really reasonable and it's just a great atmosphere.
If you like passion fruit, Madeira is a fantastic island for that. You know, they grow all of their own tropical fruits all on this island and they're super fresh. And anywhere else, passion fruit is crazy expensive, but here it just seems to be in everything. They've got passion fruit ice cream, passion fruit cocktails, even passion fruit sauces to go all over the seafood and the fish. It is wonderful. And this, yeah, five euros 90 for a huge, really delicious and quite strong, might I say, passion fruit mojito. Yeah, you can't go wrong. This next bar is Ray de Poncha. So it's a bit different to the first Poncha bar we went to. This one, we've walked past it like twice now, and both times it has been absolutely packed, completely unable to get a table. And we've come back again tonight, Monday night, which you think would be quiet, again, rammed. Every single table's full, and we queued up. We thought, we don't mind waiting. The chap came out and said, there are five other groups of people waiting in front of you. Yeah, this is seriously popular. It's also the best reviewed one that I could see around in the center of Funchal. 4.7 out of 5 with hundreds of reviews. I mean, you don't get much better than that. So we thought, yes, we've already done a punch of bar, but you've got to try this one. So let's give it a go. gone for two punches. We've got the original one, which I think is the RNG one, and a passion fruit again, so original first. Every time I sip a punch, my first reaction is, wow, that's strong, but delicious. Really, really nice white rum. And yeah, for sure, that one's orange with a bit of a tang. I think it's probably got some orange juice and some lime juice in there too. Second one, we've gone for passion fruit again. It's, it's Ida's favorite, and it was my favorite of the last one, so we've got to try their passion fruit too. Oh, so nice. Slightly sweeter, delicious. You know, I'm gonna go for the original this time. That is so nice. It's called the Regional, like the, the traditional one that they have, the, the one they've been making. Everywhere makes their own. It's all different. We've had so many and each one, again, has had its own twist. Come and check it out if you can get a table. If not, stand in the street like us. It's a great bar. Ah, Ooh, it's coming. So We're going for a second round now. <laughs> Yeah, that's to have more than one. One morango and one pescador. Obrigado. Obrigado. This is the pescador, which apparently is not sweet at all. And this one is the strawberry, which we had in the last place and was really, really nice. I love and I did love the strawberry. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, yeah, I love strawberry one. Again, it's so fresh and smooth. I think passion fruit and strawberry in many places we tried are my favorite. Fisherman's first, here we go. Oh my God. Yeah, that's packed full of rum. Jesus. <laughs> that tastes like it's like 50% rum. Sour as well. Yeah, that's my sort of flavor. Strawberry. Oh wow, that's so fresh. Wow, that's like they've just blended a load of strawberries. I mean, to be honest, they probably have. It looks like it's got strawberry pieces in there. Have a look at it. Oh, you can actually see the strawberry seeds and like the, the chunks of the fiber and the flesh. Yeah, that's, that's blended strawberries mixed with some white rum. Dude, what can you say about that? It's just unbelievably good. If you can get a table, then I would seriously recommend coming and getting it because it's, uh, it's, it's a really, really good atmosphere here. Loads of young people. Uh, a lot of them look like locals, which is again, it's a great sign. This next stop is Snack Bar Pau de Lo. It's right in the center uh, of the old town in Funchal. And this place is a great, great spot if you want a cheap, tasty local beer. So this one's Corral, and it's two euros 40 for a pint, so for half a liter. Not bad going, I would say. And it's a super, super local atmosphere. So you go in there and it's all uh, sort of old Portuguese guys leaning on the bar. Everybody knows each other. Uh, they're all chatting and laughing. and. You kind of feel a little bit like the odd one out when you walk in, but they're all very, very friendly and they're really nice. And yeah, fantastic prices. Uh, Ida and I came here the other night and we got a, a really super strong poncha and a half litre of beer and some nuts for four euros 50. I mean, you really can't go wrong with those prices. It's a great spot if you want to try out the local, proper, proper local bars. Nothing touristy about it. Snack bar, Pau de Lowe. We 
we were wandering around the old town right in the center of Funchao and we came across this little wine bar which I did a bit of googling and it looks like it's the best reviewed wine bar in central old town Funchao and you know what it's really really lovely we sat down uh, there's no menu interestingly you just got to chat to the owner tell him what you like and he'll suggest what uh, what he's got all Portuguese wines everything from uh, regional Portugal we've gone for two glasses of uh, red wine from the Douro region in Portugal four euros each you get a little bowl of olives. They also do uh, little plates of cured meats, cheeses, breads to go with the olives if you want those as well. Nice place to sit down, relaxing atmosphere uh, and it's called the Barça Velha Wine Bar. It's a really, really good wine. We've consistently found great red wines in Portugal. They're just really, really soft and velvety. I just loved all of them, which is great. She doesn't always, always love a red wine. She likes a really soft one, and they are absolutely brilliant, and they're really good value. Yeah, four euros for that, that glass. Absolutely delicious. Chat to the owner, tell him what you like, and he'll bring it to you. Yeah, spot on. If you like a pint of beer, somewhere you've got to come is the Madeira Beer House. It's right down on the marina, so you're overlooking all the ships and the boats and the beautiful Atlantic Ocean during the day. And if you come at night, you're looking back up the hills into Funchal, which is all on the side of a cliff, basically. And you've got all these beautiful lights going up and surrounding you. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful place, really, really great views. And what is special about here is they brew loads and loads of their own beer, literally right here within the beer house. So 12 different beers that they brew here, you get it poured straight out of a tank you cannot get it any fresher and trust me it's delicious i've got an ipa quite a strong like 5.8 percent bitter really hoppy ipa and it's lovely they've got loads of other different types of beer they've got american ales uh, they've got wheat beers dark beers lagers um they've even got a smoked beer never heard of a smoked beer before i might have to give it a try next time it's not the cheapest i will admit you can get pints of corral the local beer for two euros in the town in the old town uh, this one is five euros 85 so almost six euros so it's quite an expensive beer it's like london prices or big city prices but you know it's special it's come straight out of the tank it's been brewed here i, I think it's worth coming for a couple of pints for sure they also do loads of cool food here i've been watching the uh, all the food going past it looks really really good some real real hearty food to go with your beer oh i've got a strong ale 8.5%. I think I'm gonna have one of those next. I've just noticed how strong some of these are. Like the whole the whole second page of beers, like the smoked beer, 12%, and they come in liters. Uh, they've got a stout, 12.6. Um, another one, it's called barley wine, but it comes in liter jugs and it's 13%. So they've got some serious beers, and they also have those massive giraffes, you know, like the two and a half liter huge, huge tanks that you can get. One of those in nine or 10% beer is it's gonna, gonna be a nice evening. <laughs> yeah, you can have some fun there. Also, if you don't like beer, don't, don't be afraid. They've got some really, really good cocktails. I just got this one. It's uh, a strawberry caipirinha, and it literally tastes like they've just grabbed a load of fresh strawberries and blended it together with a bit of alcohol. It's delicious. We are at the Madeira Rum House. Now, rum is a really, really important part of Madeira's history, and no trip to Madeira would be complete without tasting their rum. The first one is from a small distillery near the airport in Santa Cruz. Oh, okay. So nice. it's clear, never been in a barrel. Second one is a bit sweet. Uh, it's three years old from Caleta, from the west. Okay. Uh, the third one is dry. Uh, three years old, dry, yeah. from the north side, yeah. Porto de Cruz. And the last one is 15 years old Ooh. and is a bit smoky. Oh, nice. Like, okay. Not so smoky like the whiskey, but yeah. a bit smoky. First one is an unaged rum, so you can see it is completely clear. Completely clear white rum. And he said this one's a dry one, I think. Oh, wow. Wow. That's so different to the rum I'm used to. I'm used to Caribbean rum, and that. That is really, really fruity. Almost smells like the puncher, of course, because the puncher's made with this, <laughs> this sort of rum. Let's give it a try. Oh, 
that. That is such a good quality rum. Wow. Yeah, I'm really used to drinking Caribbean rum, which is fire water, but that's actually really smooth. That's delicious. And obviously it tastes like the puncher that they make it with. Yeah, very dry, really fruity, really drinkable. That's quite a dangerous one. Next one is a little bit sweet, apparently. Nice color, nice darker golden color. It's been aged in some barrels. So it's got a bit of color from the wood. Oh yeah, definitely a lot sweeter. Yeah, starting to smell like that Caribbean spiced rum now. Sweeter, tastes like a bit of vanilla. Definitely coming from the oak that, the, uh, that it was aged in, those oak barrels. Wow, wow. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, really similar to the Caribbean spiced rums that you get, really good quality though. This one is a little bit older now, and uh, I think he said it was from a distillery in Santa Cruz, which is close to this one, but not the same one. So, a little bit lighter. Is it lighter than the last one? Yeah, I think slightly lighter. Um, still a nice golden color from aging in the barrels. Yeah, no, no, none of the sweetness, like the last one. Oh, it smells delicious. Really nice. You know what, I appreciate uh, a dry rum, actually, after the sweet one. Personally, my, my preference is for a dry rum. I think Ida's is gonna be that sweeter one, but wow, that's delicious. Similar flavors, just without the sugar. Uh, kind of toasty, caramel, definitely vanilla from the wood again. Really, really nice. Now, this is a special one. This is the most expensive, I imagine, because it's 15 years old, aged for a really long time, but actually quite light in colour. I would have thought that being aged in the barrel, in the wood, for such a long time would make it uh, darker in colour, but perhaps it was aged in the barrel for the same time and then they aged it in a steel cask. They do do that sometimes, so maybe it hasn't taken on the, the colour of, uh, of the barrel so much. Oh. Oh, you can tell that's 15 years old. That is so smooth. That's delicious. Oh, that's just fantastic. It's got much more complex flavor. Toasty, kind of nutty. Definitely taste the words, but the, the alcohol doesn't hit you as much. It's much, much more integrated into the rum. That's my favorite, obviously, the most expensive one, but that's, that's so good. Not sweet, it's a dry rum. Smooth as you like, really good quality, really, really complex, loads of flavors. Madeira rum's great, you've got to try this. This is really special. It, for quality, it definitely rivals all the Caribbean rums that I've tasted. And I've been to a few distilleries in Jamaica, uh, across the Caribbean, but right up there with the same sort of quality. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, wow, these are all from Madeira? All from Madeira. Ah, fantastic. I have a small collection of rums around the world, yeah. but I have it at home, not here. It doesn't make sense to prepare it here. For so everybody, a new rum comes out, the first bottle yeah. goes to the collection. You must have the biggest collection of Madeira yeah, rum on probably, the island. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> about around 200 different wow. bottles. It's a great passion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I share that passion. Rums are fantastic. Fantastic, mm -hmm. yeah. Top luck. Yeah, really nice to meet you. No problem. That's it for our drinks tour of Funchal and Madeira, but oh, so good. If you are coming to Madeira, there are three main drinks that you have to try because they're unique to this island. First is the Madeira rum. Absolutely wonderful, really special, and definitely rivals the Caribbean rums. No question there in terms of quality. Uh, the second one is the poncha. It's again unique to this island. The, uh, you've, you've seen it a few times. It's that lovely rum punch made with the maybe the white rum and all those different fruit juices. Absolutely fantastic. One of the bars that we've recommended would be wonderful, but again, every place does their own unique poncha, so make sure you try it. And third is the Madeira wine. So we're doing a wine tour of Blandies. It's gonna be a separate video. Make sure you check that out. But you've seen the ones that we've tasted. I've really gained a new appreciation for Madeira wine since, since, uh, since coming to Madeira. It's just so delicious. And we're taking a few bottles back home. 
if you hit those three, you're going to be you're going to be seeing really what this island has to offer. But there are so many wonderful bars around here. There are so many places to get a really cheap beer. Again, brewed on the island. Uh, there are great places to have Portuguese wine. There are little wine bars around that have wine from uh, mainland Portugal. Again, quality is just fantastic. It's a great place to come, relax. It's, it gives you a real holiday vibe when you're trying all these fantastic drinks. That's it from us. Make sure you hit subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.